In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a Trojan virus from your Windows 11 computer. So if you suspect that you have some sort of virus on your system, then there's a couple of things we can do to get rid of this. Now, the first step is just to open up your start menu and search for virus and threat protection and click on the virus and threat protection settings. Now, right at the top here, we're going to start just by clicking on quick scan. And then you'll need to wait a few minutes while this scans your system for any potential viruses or malware. While we're waiting for this to complete, we can click on manage settings next to virus and threat protection settings and make sure real time protection is turned on and enabled. And you also want to make sure all of these other options below are also turned on and enabled. Once you've done this, come back over to the previous window, scroll down to virus and threat protection updates and click on protection updates and just ensure that you're running the latest version of this security intelligence just to ensure that the virus and the malware can be detected. So you can simply click on the check for updates button over here and just make sure you're fully up to date. Now, if you come back over to the previous window, you'll see this current threats. And if any threats or viruses are found on your computer, then it will go ahead and indicate that here. Now, if nothing is found, then what we're going to do is just close out of this window. And what we're going to do is just open up an internet browser, type in Malwarebytes and hit enter. Click on the top website, which is Malwarebytes.com. Click on the free download link in the top right hand side, and then just wait for this to finish downloading and then click on downloads click on the setup file and then go through the steps to install malware bytes to your computer now this is basically a more advanced version of the windows security so if nothing is found in the windows virus scan then usually malware bytes will be able to pick up any viruses or malware so i'm going to click on skip this step and just wait for this to finish installing once that's finished installing click on open malware bytes then click on the scan button next to scanner and you'll need to wait a few minutes while that once again scans your system. If any viruses are found, it will list them in this detections column here. Once your scans complete, if any viruses are detected, then you want to make sure you go and repair them in this tool. And once you've done that, the last step is to close out of this window, come over to the start menu and search for CMD, right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Now, sometimes when you get viruses on your computer, it can actually cause issues with your core or Windows system files. So what we're going to do is type in SFC space slash scan now and hit enter. And this is going to check all of your core Windows system files just to ensure that nothing's corrupted or damaged. So just wait for this verification process to get to 100%. And once all of this is finished, you can go in and restart your computer. And that should have went and removed any Trojan horses or viruses. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you with the next one.